All right, no logo, no pictures, no nothing. I'm gonna share my opinions on this situation and we're gonna move on. So, the Writers Guild of America has decided to strike. Now, I don't wanna get into why they are striking or what the launching pad is other than to say they are striking for, in my opinion, things that are not unreasonable to ask for, which is living wages and stability. As someone who has a YouTube channel that was dedicated to the gig economy for many years, this is essentially what writers are in Hollywood. So I support the strike on that, even if it means that some of my favorite shows may get delayed, if not outright canceled as a result. Let us be clear, the writer's strike is not exactly going to be fun. It's not going to be fun for the writers, it's not going to be fun for the producers, the stars, it's not going to be fun for us. Already, if you are a fan of things like The Tonight Show, guess what? That's pretty much ending immediately until this strike gets resolved. If you are a fan of TV shows, you will still see them for a few weeks, but come the fall season, there might be some delay, some delayedness in the season's airing because there might be a writer's strike and things haven't been written. We know the new season of Game of Thrones House of Dragons is going to film this com- and just go forward because those scripts have been written. So, but for The Last of Us, the second season, if those scripts aren't written and this thing goes on too long, you might not see season two of that until 2025. Make no mistake, the writer's strike is not good for anyone. But there's a myriad of reasons of why it is happening, and there's many reason, ways to cope with it. While it is frustrating to not have new content to watch, you know what? There's already more content in the world than you could possibly watch. It's on Netflix. It's on Crunchyroll. It's on the Criterion channel. It's on Hulu. You can look out and seek something that you haven't seen, and that's how we're going to have to cope. Maybe we're also going to have to go to a theme park or two. Maybe listen to some music. We might have to read some books for a little while. Who knows? But the thing is, this is something that you can learn to deal with. Unfortunately, some people don't feel that way. And, you know, I'm doing a video about entitlement on my other channel about a completely different topic. But there were two stories today that in my opinion show that America is way, way too entitled and we probably are living in a fragile generation. There is something that is trending on Twitter and you can look this up. It's trending now where basically people are blaming the writers for starting the writer strike because they are going to lead to the death of many people. Oh yes, they are actually going there. That, hey, If we do not have new things to watch, people who go to these shows for comfort, for people who go to these shows when they are depressed, for people who go to these shows just to be entertained after a hard day, there will be people who will be depressed when these shows don't return. You know, I'm going to use a show that I frankly just started watching recently and I enjoy it, but I've noticed it happened in this community specifically. This is going to affect new episodes of a Nickelodeon cartoon series called The Loud House. I'm just using this as an example, and I'm using it as an example because I see Loud House fans saying things like this. The Loud House is a Nickelodeon cartoon about a house of kids, and they're the Loud family. One of the kids is a boy, 10 of the kids are girls. It primarily takes place through the eyes of Lincoln Loud as he navigates his chaotic life of living in a house full of sisters. The show is good. It is even cute at times. I do not dislike this show. I have actually started watching fairly recently. I'm like 12 episodes into the first season. And I can understand why it has a following. It is creative, it is relatable, and it is funny. And it looks like a comic strip. I like all that. But this writer's strike will probably affect the upcoming season to the point where it might actually get delayed. There are already people in this community saying that the Loud House means so much to them. 
that if they do not get new episodes, they will surely be depressed. They may even harm themselves. And it's not just for this show that this sentiment is being applied to. There are some people on Twitter and Facebook talking about how this show, if they don't get new episodes of this show, they are surely going to harm themselves. If they do not get new episodes of this show, they are surely going to be de depressed. Some people actually want to crawl under the bed covers until this strike is over and until new episodes air. You know what, folks? Here's the thing. I know this is an entertainment channel. I know I rant about movies and stuff like that. You need to grow up. Grow up. Seriously. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely asinine. That you are so fragile that if you don't have to get new episodes of a certain show that you absolutely love, and it means so much to you, and if you don't get new episodes, you will surely harm yourself. Are you kidding me? You know what? This is one of the problems with America in general. It kind of even like relates to that other video on my other channel. This nation, America, has become so coddled, so spoiled, that any sign of inconvenience is like a, you know, sign, you know, well, let me put it this way. We have gotten to the point where we have been so spoiled that we demand satisfaction, gratification, and if we do not get it, then we are going to explode. Remember Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory? That, uh... Petuya girl, I think her name is, the one who turns into a blueberry, I think. And she has that whole song, I want it now! I want it now! I want the whole world! And it was ridiculous. It was mocking entitled kids. Remember South Park? Hopefully you do. It's still on the air. Eric Cartman is a satire of kids who are spoiled by their parents to the point where they frankly don't believe that there's any consequences. Like, hey, I'll just go crying to mom and I can do whatever the heck I want. These things aren't so crazy anymore. They were exaggerated when they came out, but now it is real. I have been on what I have nicknamed Loud Twitter, where so many Loud House fans are going to be shrieking no, they are not even going to be shrieking. They are shrieking how depressed they are going to be because the Loud House might not have new episodes for a while. And then there are people who, Marvel fans, like what happens to the Marvel shows? What if, God forbid, this lasts long enough that there is going to be a year without a Marvel movie? How will we survive? And then there's some people who just throwing the whole blanket on the whole thing. Like, writers, you have a responsibility to keep writing television and movies at terrible wages because guess what if you don't i can't get my entertainment and therefore i will be depressed you know maybe this is one of the problems with america right now why we're having some of the issues that we're having because no one has the nerve to say no and it's worse than being a toddler a toddler will cry and win and thrash about give me my uh my lollipop or my rattle and, you know, when you're super young, you give into that demand because they don't know any better. But there comes a point where they start getting to be three years old, four years old, five years old. At some point, thrashing about to get what you want does not work. And at least it shouldn't work. But we're got, getting to a point, and I'm not going to name specifics, but there's even big policies in law being made because they are throwing this argument around, if you do this, you will cause the undoing of many people because they will be so depressed. They will unalive themselves. And you know what? It's a scary argument, but it's an extreme argument too. You know what? Maybe some of these people are adults and they should realize that, you know what? You don't get to do things this way. That just because you want this doesn't mean you should get this. Maybe you should talk about having expectations for, for life and how to deal with disappointment. Your TV show going off the air for a little bit, and by the way, some of these shows aren't even going off the air. They're just not going to have new episodes produced for a while. 
if you do not get new episodes of your favorite show, it is not the end of the world. There is so much content you can watch out there, so many books to read, so many songs to listen to. There, Heck, there are places to go, things to see, countries to visit. Wouldn't go to Russia right now, but you know, there's, there's places you can go. There are so many things you can be doing, and the idea that it is even being suggested on Twitter that, hey, if the writer strike goes through and the TV programs come to a halt, these writers are responsible for the undoing of people. Baloney. These are adults. And if they're not adults, then this is a good lesson time to tell them. This is what happens sometimes. You don't always get what you want. But nope. I don't think that lesson's going to be taught. I think people are just going to get a little pissy that they're not getting their favorite TV shows, not understanding what is behind the strike and why it is happening in the first place. So, yeah, that's my little rant. I'm not here to talk about the strike itself or why it matters or whatnot, but you know what? If you are someone who is one of these people who are going to be so depressed that your show is not getting new episodes, you know what? I'm sorry. Get over yourself. Time to grow up. If it's really that serious, call a therapist or something, talk to someone, get some help. These are TV shows at the end of the day. Your life should be worth way more than a TV show, especially a cartoon on the Orange Network. Okay? So anyway, I'm Kevin D. Rodriguez, film critic of iCritic.net. Like to know what you think about this. Comment below. I'm going to reach over and turn this off because I don't want to do any editing for this one. I just want to go straight up. Have a good one.